Orange County, and now there's versions everywhere. You guys, you guys all from OC? And you guys admit it? God bless you! Fucking 714 and 949 in the house. Like, I was like one little fucking, like, I don't know, mini me Chewbacca in the sea of blonde, right? And like, everyone's like, Mindy, what's a Persian? What's a Persian? And I think the best way to describe a Persian is that we're kind of like Ugg boots. We're brown, furry, and sweaty, and nobody can figure out why we're so damn trendy. <laughs> My mom's motto is, it doesn't say Gucci, it's not when I'm on your Gucci. <laughs> Only the best for my mom. <laughs> but it's funny because like I was the only, you know, Persian friend out of all of my friends, and so I became like the Middle Eastern epicenter. So whenever anything fucked up happened in the Middle East, which was probably every other day, they'd be like, Nadine, oh my god, what happened? Fuck. I'm like, I don't know, dude, the like Persian Gulf War. I'm like, I'm nine, I don't know. Like, <laughs> Mom 
one is like trying to marry me off. Like any man will even like look at me or breathe on me. She's like, oh nigga, he's cute. I'm like, he's 90. <laughs> so about a month ago, true story, my mom, we were going to this Persian house party. Not out of the ordinary, but she is obsessed with me going. And I'm like, all right, I'm going, it's fine. My little brother goes, he's a douchebag. And I'm like, all right, something's up if he's going. No, it's okay, in a good way. Don't owe me, that's my family, we love him. He's a good douche, if there is, he's a shower. Um, but so then my mom's like sitting there judging my outfit, she's like, nigga, you're not wearing enough gold. Because wearing gold in like America is a sign of wealth and it's real Persian, it's fancy, but like, you know, basically she was trying to like call me a raging whore and give me away as a dowry, right? And so I walk into this Persian house in the Hollywood Hills and it was like the fucking Persian bachelor rose ceremony because it was two guys staring at me. They were first cousins. They were not my cousins, thank God. We've gotten past that in 2015. They were first cousins. Both had the same name. My mom's gonna kill me for saying the real name. They're both named Nima. One was a biomedical engineer, one was a pilot. And my mom goes, nigga, which one do you want? <laughs> I'm like, homie, I think it's pretty safe to say that I'm not gonna be dating a Middle Eastern pilot anytime soon. <laughs> man, right? Like the Jews have J-Day, but like Persians don't have any of that. It's like persiankitty.com, but don't go there, that's like a porn site. <laughs> but I figured out the best place to meet a nice Middle Eastern man is the FBI's most wanted list. <laughs> For real, because it's already categorized, right? By like, you know, the people. Like my favorite profile is like Hamidi Abdul. You're like, oh, he's 5'10", he's average height. <laughs> Last scene between Jordan and Afghanistan, you're like, oh my God, he's well-traveled. <laughs> Likes to hide in caves. Oh my God, he loves nature. <laughs> Pedophile, he loves children. <laughs> Suicide bomber, oh my God. No problem with commitment. <laughs> my uncle's like, nigga, don't tell that joke. Persian men aren't gonna like you. Persian men aren't gonna like you. And I'm like, no, Persian men don't like me because I'm a female and I speak. <laughs> this story and I want to say it because my mom's here and I just like to embarrass her, my poor mother, homie. <laughs> homie, 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 And my grandmother's here too, love her. She doesn't understand a word I'm saying, but we'll tell her we're funny, it's fine. So um, when I first started stand-up, I was living at home in a homie's house because she was having trouble paying both our rents. So. <laughs> go back home <laughs> and I was doing stand-up every night and we had this Persian family like they're distant relatives like fucking we have like oh our cousins are coming and I'm like I thought that like, these people were our cousins no they're like we have a million fucking cousins somehow I don't know how it happens but we do we're all fucking related somehow so this Persian our cousins are coming distant relatives and they're visiting from Iran and my mom said Nigar don't tell them what you do and I'm like what do you mean don't tell them what I do and she's like, they don't have, you know, comedians in Iran. They're gonna think you're a clown. <laughs> and they're gonna think I'm a fucking clown? I'm like, all right, homie, that's fine. I'm not gonna tell them what I do. So the Iranians come to our house and every night I'd leave at 6.30 p.m. and then I'd come home at 2.30 because I was a douchebag and I'd go drinking after my sets. And then my deal with homie was that I would have breakfast with them every morning. So I'd walk down, bloodshot eyes, raspy voice, poly smelling like a liquor cabinet, having a nice Persian breakfast with like the Iranian cheese and the mint and this and that. And they'd stare at me and I'd stare at them and we'd eat our food and it was just fine. And, and small talk and they're like, so? And I'm like, so? And they're like, how was work? And I'm like, it was good. And so I just could feel the heat of my mom's eyes. <laughs> For those of you who don't have a Persian mother, it's the equivalency of the, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> and so I'm like, all right, I got this, right? And they're like, so what do you do? And I'm like, um, customer service? <laughs> oh, customer service. <laughs> That's 
nice. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I like to put a smile on people's faces. And they're like, oh, they're like, you work so hard late. And I said, no, 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 it's usually like, I don't know, 20 minutes, but then if you do 45 minutes, it's like really fucking hard, you know? <laughs> and they're like, oh, do you have another client? I'm like, sometimes it's really bad when it's four or five, but when there's like a hundred, uh, 100? And they're staring at me and I'm like, holy fuck, they think I'm a prostitute. <laughs> Literally, and a homie would rather me take it and be a prostitute than a fucking clown. <laughs> I love you, homie. <laughs> In a way, I kind of am a prostitute right now, standing up here needing all of your guys' approval. <laughs> Talked about my vaginal hairs. <laughs> But, um, you know, growing up in Orange County in a first-generation family was, you know, we, we never really had the sex talk. Did you, how, many, how many of you guys had the... Persians, how many of you guys had this sex talk? Clap your hands. No one, right? Latins? Americans, sex talk? Right. Your parents talk to you. We don't... I still haven't had the sex talk. Right? Never, right? So, Jake, go ahead, you can roll this down, but don't put it on yet. So my mom, I was obsessed with how babies were made, and I'd ask her every fucking day, like, Mom, Mom, how are babies made? How are babies made? How are babies made? And then she would never, like, whatever, she'd just brush it off. Don't put it on yet, I'll tell you when. But um, she would brush it off. And finally, like, I'm so, I was such a fucking annoying child that I would just ask a million times, like, Mommy, look, Mommy, look, Mommy, look, Mommy, look, Mommy, look. Like, I was that kid. So finally she's like, okay, nigga, I'll tell you how babies are made. <laughs> So then we're like, all right, so she makes it a whole night, right? Like, her whole day. She takes me shopping, we go to lunch, and I'm like, okay, she's gonna tell me now. No, nope, she's still held off. I'm like, oh, this, this she's good. And so then, keep, day goes on, and I'm like, when is she gonna fucking tell me how these fucking babies are made, right? Go home, we went shopping, had a full day. She still did not tell me how babies were made. We go to my bedroom, she closes the door, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's been waiting all day, so this is gonna be fucking good, right? And she's like, don't tell your friends I'm telling this. I'm like, no, 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 you're good. She's like, and don't tell your father either. I'm like, Mohammed does not need to know about this. <laughs> and she's like, I'll tell you how babies are made. <clears throat> when God thinks you're ready, he give you baby. Okay, good night, thank God. <laughs> Right, so I was such a neurotic kid and it was through my adolescence, so I'm so stressed out and I'd be like, oh my God. Like, and every day I was getting fatter and fatter. I'm like, oh my God, is it my time? I have fucking dreams, I wanna go to college. I wanna fucking drive, I wanna drive a fucking car. I have dreams, like I, I don't know what the fuck I was gonna do. Like, literally was so stressed out and I'd pray for fucking two eyebrows and to not be pregnant. True story, right? Because for most of my childhood, Jake, you could go ahead and put this up. This is what I look like. Turn the lights down. Don't worry, it's worth the wait. <laughs> God! For those of you who can't see it, you can stand up and see it because God was my only hope of getting pregnant. I mean, that is the girthiest fucking unibrow. I look like the Persian Mona Lisa. Am I smiling? I don't know. Iranian hockey player. <laughs> it's an amazing mullet, Rez, with a ski the Rocky sweater, because Homie thought that was a fantastic idea. What's more American than ski the Rockies? The best part about this is my mom would look at me and she'd be like, Nigar, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Jake, you go to the next one. Kids were posing. <laughs> Sasquatch. <laughs> the most fucked up part of this picture is that we were the same age. <laughs> All right, Jake, we get on. <clears throat> I've had enough of self deprecating myself. Oh my god. Um, 
thank God the sex change really helped me. Um, I'm just kidding. Hashtag call me Nagar. Um, I do want to finish up uh, really quick. Do you guys want, I, I want to, uh, because it's a Friday night, let's talk about porn real quick. Right, so I went to a Lutheran college, whole other story, um, and I live in this house. Uh, it's because I played soccer and I, they got me wasted on my recruiting trip. That's literally another story. So um, I got, <laughs> I live in this house with four guys and I was the only girl and we just called it the slut hut. Not because I was the slut, but because I was always like, does anybody want to have sex with me? <laughs> no? Okay. I roofied myself. Oh, and by the way, I was a virgin too during this time, even in the butt. And <laughs> in the butt counts, girls. I went to Catholic school and those were be like, do it right here, do it right here, won't count. Do it, do it, do it. Jesus said it's okay. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, won't count. So suck it. <laughs> but so <laughs> living with these four guys, they'd always come home wasted and they watch porn and I'd be like, I don't want to watch this, but they would became obsessed because of the porn storylines, right? Like, I was like, oh my God. But I was so ADD, my friends called me Nady Deed. Where <laughs> there'll be some people doing it right here and then I'd be staring at the pizza going, eat the pizza, eat the pizza, fucking eat the pizza, eat the pizza. <laughs> but I, then I became obsessed with porn characters and I was like, oh my God, there should totally be a porn character named Earl Grey and all he does is teabag people. <laughs> Right, but he only makes cameos, right? So there'll be some people doing it right here and he comes in, he's like, Poosh. he's like, oh, <laughs> And then he's out, right? Just one dip. Thank you very much, everybody, you guys.